Hello gang, how's it going? Right, I'm going to be doing a little bit of a time lapse I think. Look what came in the post, I got some paint brushes and some Angelus um, paints, leather paints. You can see what I'm going for here already. Um, so I've got some deglazer, I've got some white and, uh, and neon. Uh, neon yellow, so rossy yellow basically. And I've got some finisher, it's like an acrylic finisher. So the plan is here, is to basically accent all the parts on my leathers. Um, we'll see how, um, it's only a little bit of paint you see, so I just wanted to test it out see if it worked first. Um, and I've got myself a little paint pen as well, so that's pretty cool. Um, just to make things easy with the lines and stuff without, you know, that these guys can be quite iffy, I imagine. Just thought I'd give it a try. So things like this here, I'm not sure if you can see on the suit. But things like this here, the accents around here. But now I uh, went and put a load of balm on this on this suit um, to moisturise it all. So what the first thing I need to do is I need to deglaze everything, um, just these particular bits of panels, and then I can paint on it, and then I can uh, leave it to set, and hopefully they won't crack or anything like that. I'm going to go over the black with the white, and then with the white set and then going to go over the white with neon yellow because black on neon yellow i'll need a few coats in order for it to pop so i just don't want to waste that much paint on us try it with a with the white base coat so i'm going to do a bit of a time lapse this isn't an instructional video this is just you know the night before christmas having a bit of a having a bit of fun uh before christmas day and i'm making cakes and shit so me on my own but <laughs> you you guys are with me in spirit right Anyway, so I'll crack on. I'm going to do a bit of a time lapse now, I think, and uh, we'll see what goes on. Got me icing going. I got me cake here, which oh, oh, might be done now actually. Look at that! Whoa! It's not very hot in the middle, so I'll leave it in for ten more minutes. Whoa. Right, so I've just done. I've just done basically a, a, a few coats on this guy, and I have gone over on a few points. I can't be asked masking it because I'm a lazy cunt. But look at that! That looks pretty good already from a distance on the camera. It looks great. So let that dry. I'm going to do this side now. The paints are sticking really well, uh, and then I'm going to put the yellow on. I'm not going to need a full. You know, there are patches in this at the minute, and I'm, I'm not going to need this to be absolutely perfect because the yellow's going on top and it's just to help with the contrast. So I'm not looking for anything perfect for the white. Um, what I might do actually, here, I'm looking at a few different places that I can do, and there are quite a few of these little highlights on the on the on the uh, on the pants actually. So I think I'm going to crack on and just get on with this stuff. Hopefully you're enjoying this. It's quite fun. I might do this guy as well whilst I'm here because it looks a bit boring. Um, but this is working out better than I actually thought it would be. And this uh, this paintbrush is excellent. It really is. Very, very fine. And I really like the angle. You can really get into the sides there and, and really get into the, uh, to the seams. So yeah, I'm going to crack on with this, boys and girls. Hope you like it. Right gang, check that out. Fucking hell man. 
It's actually looking quite good, just like that, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, if you go in close, yeah, it's not fantastic. It's like a child's gone at it. But basically, I've got a nice white base layer down now. And the apple is actually dried. A, very quickly, and it feels just... Sorry. It feels like it's dried very, very quickly, and it also just feels like leather. It's weird. It doesn't feel like there's any paint on there. Took a few coats on each of these to try and get it basically... Yeah. Enough of a layer on there so it's not very, you know, it's not patchy and stuff. I mean, there's stuff like this here, which I'll sort out later because those, especially down here, were so difficult to get in with into. I've also done the front here. here. What I am going to do is I'm going to do the sides and stuff, uh, but I'll do them another day. I just want to get the, the, the yellow on this. So look at that. Not bad at all. So on with the yellow now. My plan seems to be working with the white base. This is really popping already, this, and this is just the first initial coat of the yellow. Look at that. I'm very happy with that's the way that's going on. And if you're wondering about the colour, it is neon tropic sun yellow leather paint. And this uh actually in fact Alexa, light to blue. Look at that! <laughs> Check that out. That's really cool. Right, folks, there you go. That is part one done for today. Um, basically, what I've done, there still needs to be a few coats applied because it's a bit patchy in places. And what I need to do, where I've gone over, I should have masked it really, but you know, I mean, stuff like that looks horrific. But once it's all dried, uh, the plan is to get the brush and basically go over these parts here with the. Um, Prepper and deglazer. It's just going to strip uh, those back. Or I can get a leather paint, uh, a black leather paint, and just go over the end, the edges here, just to neaten it up. But yeah, I mean, for now, that's that's what I'm going for. It looks pretty from a distance. It looks really good, actually. I'm very surprised. And these down here, we'll see how how long they sort of last for the stretch panels thingies. But there are going to be lots of bits on the back we're going to do. Still yet to do them. But just from, from looking back here, just from back here though, it looks, I think it looks cracking. Alexa, light to blue. And look, <laughs> glows up as well. That's really fucking cool. Hiya folks, you okay? Right, a few, a few days to, well, about a week has passed for me. Yeah, soon, you know, it looks okay from far away, from far enough away, but as soon as you get close up, there are some bits that, uh, well, a lot of it really um, <laughs> that I'm not happy with um, just because it's very difficult to keep to the lines uh, for example stuff like this here you know there's little bits of white and the, the gap in between there's too small for me to get the uh, acetone in there there are you know I've done my best and try and clean up the lines as much as I can um, like these guys aren't too bad here and then there's the back um, I think I'm. I think I've done enough for now. I don't think I'm gonna. I don't think I'm gonna. This, by the way, this was a bad idea. This was a really, really bad idea. Look at this. I mean, it might not look too bad on camera, but as soon as I stretch it out for you, that's what she said. Oh, there you go. Bits just ripped there. But all the gaps and the holes. I mean, again, from far away, it doesn't look too bad. But I accidentally did this. I started painting it white, forgetting what I was doing. Um, and then I couldn't wipe it all off again, so I basically just had to do the entire thing and then all the way around the side. I thought I'd do this, I thought I'd do the um, coccyx protector, but then I just realised it looks like a fucking anus, or <laughs> looks like I've got a fucking high-vis fanny, which <laughs> doesn't really go very well, but there weren't really many other highlights that I could, could have done at the bottom here, so the back stuff worked out a lot better than the front. Um, just in terms of keeping to lines because I learned from the front and I think I put a better coat base coat down of white which is why it's not as patchy these back ones actually look pretty good I don't know I think I've kind of put myself off doing this again <laughs> just because of how much of a fucking pain in the ass it's been having to wait for there's about 10 coats of each color I'm just gonna finish off uh, going over all these little bits and bobs as you can see you just you just layer it on here Bit of a going over really because this is going to give it a bit of weather protection as well so i'm keen to to get the whole suit sort of you know nice and uh nice and protected 
So let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this little saga. We'll do some, uh, well, we'll go out for a ride. I've not been out for a ride in it yet. So, uh, so yeah, we'll see how it is and get some shots with it, with it on. So anyway, that's me, folks. Thank you very, very much for watching. I'll see you again soon, I'm sure. And until the next time, sort of out.